Can I just feature one policy here? MC pricing. You all heard of MC pricing, right? Do you know there are two ways to draw your diagram? MC pricing. Yeah, I think I did. Huh? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. MR, AR, quantity, demand, price, revenue, cost, MC cuts, MR. This is Q not P not. Okay. MC pricing brings the output here and the price here. So your super normal profits were so much. Okay, then now it's less. Super normal profits. This is the fall in super normal profits. I know it's been a while since we went through market structure. Okay, so I'm going to ask, based on this diagram, do you have any questions? Hmm? Like, half off. Okay, so MC pricing, it's a little bit like a price ceiling or price floor. You force them to set price where MC cuts AR. You compel the firms to do this. They have to follow. Why is it the point where it cuts AR? AR is your demand curve. Price is always read off your demand curve. That's all. This is MC pricing. I'm going to show you, uh, this is version one. Version two. looks like this. AR equals to demand, MR, LRAC, LRMC, quantity, price slash revenue slash cost, original equilibrium, final equilibrium. So originally, your firm was still able to make super normal profits. Okay. So it was able to make super normal profits, but now <laughs> it's a loss, okay? After that, you are making a loss. I'll explain why we have two different analysis for the same policy. Okay. So this is super normal to subnormal profits. Pi stands for profits also. Yeah, pi is uh, very easy to say. You don't need to say lambda, delta, alpha, just pi, one word. Now I'm going to ask you, uh, who is more familiar with version one? 
in that this is what you see in your notes. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Who has seen version two before? One. On Zoom, eh? version one or version two? 